This is the video on understanding rates and unit rates. As always, please make sure you have your graphic organizer with you and ready to go. Let's talk about some vocabulary to start with. The first vocabulary word is rate. A rate is a special type of ratio that compares quantities with unlike units of measure. For example, this rate has 150 miles for every three hours. So if you notice the miles and the hours are unlike units, they're not the same, but it will tell you how the rate of how fast you're going for every hour. Unit rate is the, if the comparison is comparing so much to one unit, then the rate is called a unit rate. 50 miles per one hour is a unit rate because it's telling you how fast you're going in one unit, in this case, one hour. How to find a unit rate? Well, if you have a rate, in this case is seven kilometers in four minutes, you need to break that down to find out how many kilometers they're going for every one minute. By doing that, you break it down to a unit rate. To do this, you need to divide the first term by the second term. So in this case, we're gonna take our seven and divide it by four. Four goes into seven one time, bring it down, subtract. In this case, let's go ahead and put it in decimal form. Bring the zero down so you have 30. Four goes into 30 seven times. Subtract, bring down. Four goes into 25 times. So what we just determined is that you are going one and seven five hundredths of a kilometer per every one minute. This is the unit rate of this rate. We just broke it down by taking the first term divided by the second term. Let's practice this. We're going to write each, rate, each of these as a rate and as a unit rate. So in the first case, 60 kilometers in 12 hours, as a rate, we could write that as 60 kilometers per every 12 hours. Now it's very important when you write out the rates that you also write out the labels so that you can see 60 what and 12 what. Now to use that as a unit rate, we would need to take 60 divided by 12 and 60 goes into 12 five times. So as a unit rate, we would write it as five kilometers per every one hour. Number two, 26 centimeters in 13 seconds. Well, as a rate, we would keep it as 26 centimeters for every 13 seconds. To write it as a unit rate, we would need to take the 26 divided by 13, which is 2. So that tells me that you have 2 centimeters per every 1 second. Number 3, we have 230 miles on 10 gallons. As a rate, that would be 230 miles for every 10 gallons. As a unit rate, we will need to divide 230 divided by 10. Well, that would be 23. So we would write the unit rate as 23 miles for every one gallon. Now make sure that when you do the unit rates, that the bottom number or one of the terms, so it's usually the bottom, is 1. That tells you it's a unit rate. Go ahead and write all these down, pause the video, and when you're ready, you can start it up again. Okay, let's do a few more practices. Uh, I want you to write each one of these as a rate and as a unit rate. Well, number one, $12.50 for every five pounds. As a rate, you would write that, excuse me just a minute, there we go, as $12.50 for every five pounds. Don't forget the labels. And then as a unit rate, you would have to take 1250 and divide that by 5. Well, 
5 goes into 12 two times, and then you would get 25. So that would be 5, and so it would be $2.50. So the unit rate would be $2.50 for every 1 pound. Number 2 is 35 minutes to run 5 laps. As a rate, you would write that as 35 minutes for every 5 laps. Now to write it as a unit rate, you would take the 35 divided by the 5. That goes in 7 times. So the unit rate is basically 7 minutes for every 1 lap. Or in other words, it takes 7 minutes to run 1 lap. Please remember that a unit rate bottom number needs to be the single unit and that's your goal. Find out what the rate is for a single unit. Let's do some more practicing. For these write each as a rate and as a unit rate. Number one is 38 minutes to run five laps. So the rate would be 38 minutes for five laps. My stylus isn't running very well. There you go. Uh, the unit rate, we're going to need to take the 38 divided by the 5. 5 goes into 38 seven times. And we're going to put a decimal and bring down a zero. So it would be 7 and 6 tenths. So the unit rate would be 7 and 6 tenths minutes for every one lap. Now I know that looks odd because you're used to fractions and to put a decimal on there looks weird, but remember these are rates. What this tells us is that it takes seven and six tenths minute to do one lap. Number two, 252 days for nine full moons. So the rate would be 252 days for nine full moons. Please remember that you put the full label on there so we know exactly what cat, what uh, descriptions and what units we're comparing. For the unit rate, you would take your 252 divided by nine. Nine goes into 25 two times, which is 18. Subtract, you get seven and bring down your two. Nine goes into 72 eight times. So your unit rate would be 28 days for every one full moon. Number three, you have 56 points, excuse me, that's a typo, 56 points scored in eight games. So you would write 56 points in eight games. Now to find the unit rate, you would take 56 divided by 8. 8 goes into 56 seven times. So your unit rate would be 7 points for one game. What that unit rate tells us is, for example, in one game you made 7 points. And at that rate, you would be making 56 points in 8 games. So make sure you write all this down before you go on to the next screen. Okay, we're going to practice on these. What I want you to do, though, is I want you to do these three on your own. I want you to write them each as a rate and as a unit rate. And then tomorrow in class, we're going to go through them together. Um, and we'll take a grade on this. So please make sure that you do write these out. And the key word is always do your best. Have a wonderful evening.